asthma and COPD are probably the most common respiratory disorders. And often there's an overlap between two. It is not always possible to differentiate between the two diseases because both the diseases are diseases of the airways. The, you know, the lung is divided into two parts. We have the airways and then we have the periphery of the lung where there are the alveolar sacs. So because both these diseases affect the airways, which are the tubes inside your lungs, the symptoms of both these diseases very often are similar. Classically, asthma starts in younger people. There is associated history of allergies. So people would tell you that, you know, the mother also had asthma or, you know, a first degree relative, first degree cousin or some chacha or someone in the family had give you, you know, there would be history of asthma in the family. They would tell you that the child had recurrent bouts of pneumonia, pasli chalti thi, and the child would get, you know, would fall ill very, you know, often. There would be this history of tonsillitis, of getting sore throat, headache, itching, hives, red rashes on skin very commonly. And typically the symptoms become worse with change of season. For example, in Delhi NCR right now, we are having, you know, really poor air quality. So all our asthmatics are having a, a, a you know, really bad time right now. So classically asthma starts during childhood, but this is not the rule, you know, this is the usual presentation. We see it more often in younger patients. There is very often associated history of allergies. And this is, you know, history of wheezing. When you auscultate their chest, when you put the stethoscope on their chest, you hear what is known as a wheeze. And very often the attendants would also tell you that when the patient is in distress, so this is something which is very common, you know, which we see in our practice. On the other hand, COPD by definition is a disease of the elderly. Now, the age group at which we diagnose COPD is being brought down. We actually now suspect COPD even in people as young as 40 years of age. Earlier, earlier guidelines a few years back, we would suspect COPD only in people who were more than 50, 55 years of age. But then this is a disease which classically happens in the adult age group. There is always this history of why the COPD would happen, there would be this history of chronic smoking, there would be this history of chula use in females, history of environmental exposure, history of some kind of an occupational exposure, as Dr. Bansal had just said. And these patients do not typically have allergies. They do not have, you know, variation of symptoms as classically as we see with asthma. You know, an asthmatic would have symptoms on one day, the patient would be in a really bad state. The patient is given some kind of a bronchodilator. And for the next few months, the patient is absolutely asymptomatic. That doesn't happen in patients with COPD. A COPD patient, more or less, if their disease is not very well controlled, is always breathless, would have some symptoms every day, day in and day out. And also, a lot of patients with COPD have got a lot of comorbidities. So because these patients are elderly, these patients have this history of smoking, so breathlessness associated with cardiac diseases, associated ischemic heart diseases, associated angina, all these are common with COPD and we don't really see them with patient, in patients who have bronchial asthma.